Hello YouTube! My name is Carla de Guzman. I'm a romance writer from the Philippines and this is not a book video. One of the things that they don't tell you as an adult is that planners are an essential in your life. I enjoy planners a lot. Um, I bring mine with me every day. I write on mine practically every day uh, because it's become this habit of mine left over from school probably but yeah so i'm very particular about the layout of the planner that i use so last year i got this muji planner sometime in the middle of may for my 2019 planner i went a lot thinner with the hobonichi mega weeks and i already told you in my japan japan haul video why i preferred the hobo mega weeks my reason for keeping a planner is to keep track of things it's not for not necessarily for instagram or for taking photos um it's really just just a notebook that I have that I carry around with me that has everything that I need to know in one glance and you know and still gives me some room for creativity in this page for example uh, we attended a wedding that weekend and I have a thing with weddings where I don't really like going to photo booths because I never know what to do with the photos after but that wedding in particular had this long form so I managed to stick it in the planner um, my mom gave me this note and I just stuck it to the planner just for memories and stuff like that. I, one of my favorite things about a planner is it's so easy to cover up your mistakes. So here I wrote something that, you know, I didn't particularly like. I thought it was kind of boring. So I just slapped on my sumo um, post-it on top and it looks super cool. There's a, a world of difference that washi tape and stickers can make. Washi tape and stickers can make any planner look good. So. <laughs> My planner is full of washi tape and stickers. So when I got this planner, it was already January 4, I believe. If you check out the Japan haul video, it's there. It was already January 4 when I got it. And this planner actually starts in December. So right off the bat, I was, I was already wrong. I was late by like a month. So my brilliant solution was just to washi tape the days I already missed. So very simple super effective and i am the only person who benefits from it so it doesn't really matter which is why i have a huge collection now of stickers and washi tape for example wine night with megan dino i really like this i picked it up from craft central in the philippines it's so cute i also have these um stickers by julien i love them they're so expressive it's this this girl she's me like she's me in the morning so she's in my planner and I also have oh my gosh I picked this up in comic-con like last year yeah last year with Tatic. and when we started we're like oh, we have to get it we have to get it because in last year's planner I was carrying around with me naked Kylo Ren and naked Goyo <laughs> these guys are so funny so and I bring them around just because they made me happy when I saw them you can never have too many shirtless guys in your planner. For washi tape, currently in my rotation, I mean, I have a lot of washi tape because my friends and I do that now. We kind of exchange washi tape, we buy washi tape, blah, blah, blah. So this, I have this from a local artist in the Philippines. She has great art, you should check it out. Um, I don't remember exactly the title for this, but she has this particular washi tape in gold, which is very interesting. But a little a little pricey but if you're buying from indie it's it's natural um if again if you watch the japan haul video i have this sakura washi tape from mt um this one i got from the rainbow village in taiwan if you if you ever find yourself there and you know rainbow village has washi tape that they sell it doesn't stick very well but it looks amazing on planners or on white paper if you're just looking to fill in a space it's really good and my favorite washi tape that I haven't used yet because I don't want to use it all up. Um, I was super surprised the last time I went to Kensington Palace in London, one of my favorite places in the world, because they had washi tape. Um, the thing is, when you eat, when you have tea at Kensington Palace, they serve it on this very specific looking china. Um, that 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 pattern has been embedded in my brain. It is my goal to turn when I turn 40 to buy a set for myself and like not use it. I wanna be that kind of petty rich person. So when I saw they had washi tape, I had to get it, but it's been two years and I haven't used this washi tape, but I keep it very close. So this is the, the tea set itself, which is so cute. 
And aside from that, you know, the tea set has this kind of gold and teal blue pattern, which they have in washi tape form. I mean, it's not it's not the usual gilded, like glittery, glittery gold that you find in some washi tapes, but I love this teal color. And I've only used it once a very, very tiny amount. So if I'm desperate, I will maybe use these two tapes, maybe. As for the hand lettering, you know, I I know like people kind of feel like, oh, you're so great at it. Like, how did you get so good? Honestly, I had really bad handwriting as a kid. Um, my teachers used to describe my handwriting as chicken scratch or doctor's handwriting in which, uh, wherein it made no sense whatsoever. Um, so when I was in grade school, ha handwriting was very important. So you had to make sure that your letters were the exact form or blah, 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 whatever. And our notes were basically anything that the teacher wrote, she wrote it on a loose board, everything we needed to know. And we would have to copy it word for word down to the number of skips in the lines. So, so when I got to high school and there were literally no rules anymore about note taking, the girls just the girls in my school just kind of went crazy. So suddenly we all of our notebooks were wrapped were like wrapped in magazines or some of us like me went the sticker route um, and suddenly everyone was starting to learn how to do lettering. So the coolest girls in my school were the ones who had perfectly perfect handwriting, perfectly perfect lettering. All their spacing is great. They would use a Pilot GTEx C C3 or C4, because at the time that was a pretty expensive pen at 60 pesos. It's still pretty expensive now, but that was like the pen of the cool girls. And if you were a cool girl, you used a Pilot G Tech. And for me, the person with chicken scratch writing, um, I had to learn lettering because it was how you kind of socially survived at the time. Like people, look up to the girls with great handwriting and you wanted to be the girl with a great handwriting so which is why i kind of forced myself to pick up lettering so that's it for me for now um if you like this video even though it has nothing to do with the romance books please subscribe to this youtube channel i upload videos every wednesday whether it's about romance books or desk tours or planners apparently um but yeah every wednesday something comes up um if you're interested in following me on instagram or on twitter i do post some of my sticker designs on instagram if you're into that um my name is at carla k de guzman if you're interested in reading my books you can just look up my name carla de guzman on amazon or smashwords and you can pretty much find me there and if you're into print books you can order from romanceclassbooks.com uh or just messaging me on instagram on twitter i really should have this this closer in 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 line now but i don't because that's life anyway so that's it for me um i hope we'll see you next week bye thank you hmm.